YouTubers and welcome back to Tony the Technician's channel and today we're going to be moving into something that's important to me and should be important to a lot of other mechanics, do-it-yourselfers, basically anybody that buys their own tools uh, and that's keeping them clean. Uh, so today I'm going to go over the process that I use to clean my tools and keep them clean because I'm pretty OCD so I like my stuff not just organized but clean as well. Granted, Obviously, after a lot of use of using some tools, especially if they're like cushion grips or anything like that, they're going to become damaged, which you can't really fix that if you have like, you know, cuts in the handles or anything like that. But as far as, you know, just dirty tools and then minor scratches, those can be fixed by keeping them clean. So I'm going to go over the process that I do to keep my tools clean. And uh, I think it's important. So please let me know what you guys think or if you use a certain chemical or anything to keep your tools clean. Maybe leave it down in the comments for other people that are uh, looking for, you know, lubricants or chemicals to keep their tools clean. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you do, make sure to hit that thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and as always, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Thank you guys. Okay guys, so here I have some tools that I've been recently using on the Camaro project just to touch up the engine bay and do some small jobs here and there. Uh, and usually I clean my tools after every job. I used to be really bad, like I would use the tool, clean it, and then I wouldn't be done with the project and end up having to re-clean the tool anyways, but I finally got it to where I just keep all my tools gathered together after a job, I get them together, and I clean them. Now there are two times that I clean them, right after the job, and then about once a month I like to go through my entire toolbox and do an entire cleaning on everything. But for after a job, I usually just use WD-40 and some oil to lubricate like my pliers and ratchets and stuff like that. Uh, but then when I do a monthly cleaning, I like to use these stainless steel wipes which actually work really well. Uh, yeah, they're for home use, you know, inside, but it protects coating, uh, repels against dust and dirt, leaves a nice shine, streak free, removes fingerprints, residue, smudges, and grease, so it's really good on that stuff. Uh, and I find it, it works really well on like my ratchets and wrenches. And then same thing with any chrome polish uh, for wheels or anything to polish chrome works really well in uh, not just cleaning the wrenches and ratchets, but it fills in those small uh, scratches in the wrenches and stuff. So it keeps them looking really nicely. Uh, another thing you can use which works really well is if you just go pick up a gun cleaning kit. This has just got some uh, polish in it and some lubricant and everything, and it works really well to clean uh, basically any tools, but something you want to keep in mind when you have comfort grips like this or If you have pliers or something with the the rubber handles that kind of have that grit to them not like this uh, Smooth rubber, but when it's got that grit to it or a comfort grip handle you don't want to use any like I know a lot of people use fuel and uh, a lot of a solvent to clean them well I don't I try not to do that because this type of rubber and this really absorbs those uh, chemicals and can actually ruin the handles so I try and keep it a really light coat of like WD-40 or anything like that because it'll clean them really nicely without letting them absorb a lot of uh, the chemicals so never just soak your tools in a chemical you just want to lightly apply a coat to like a rag or a paper towel and lightly go over them it will get them clean without you know soaking the tool so I'm gonna start off with just using some WD-40 and the 3-in-1 oil and then I won't be using these but I'll use this on the ratchet and the wrenches and just show you how nicely they come out afterwards but let's get a little zoom in so you guys can see the before so they're not like completely filthy or you know scratched or anything but they are used and they're a little bit dirty so it should be good enough to show you uh, the cleaning process and how well it does. So what I like to do with the WD-40 is just lightly spray it on a rag and then I also have another rag uh, that's dry for wiping off excess. I want to leave a real thin coat on there just to keep it protected but I don't want a lot on there because I don't want the tools to be slippery when I get done with them so the next time I grab them they're not all slippery and everything. But 
just lightly go over everything and this is what I use right after I get done working on something and as you can tell the rags got some dirt on there and then here it is compared to a dirty pair hopefully you guys can see that but they look new again these are just some cheap uh, pliers but uh, it's a good example so here they are look almost new again minus the the rust and stuff that's inside the teeth which I'm not too worried about because they are really cheap pliers uh, but it works really well and then I like to go over everything on the tool and then I'll just take like this three-in-one oil and I'll just apply it to the pliers just a small dab to keep them lubricated same thing and then I'll just work that in and it keeps them working nice and smoothly uh, and that's simply how I clean my pliers and everything when I'm done using them after a certain job. But I'm going to go ahead and clean up these screwdrivers, the same process, and then we'll get into actually cleaning the chrome on the ratchet and the wrenches. And then obviously you can see the shine from all the WD-40 on there. I like to go back with the dry rag and just simply wipe off all the excess because I don't want it to be all slippery. And if it's wet, it will still attract dirt and everything. So I like to get them nice and dry. So besides like the dings and scratches in the rubber, it looks new. Uh, another thing to keep in mind, uh, no matter what you use, if you have printing on the screwdrivers or anything like this, uh, eventually after cleaning them, they're going to come out like this and like this. But that's not a big deal. Uh, as long as it doesn't ruin the handle for me, that's fine. But as you can tell, it removes dirt and everything really well. And I believe it's really important to keep your tools clean. Uh, not only is it going to make them last longer, it's just, I think it's a lot better. Once again, go back, dry it off. So. And I just, you know, it takes time. And uh, some people don't care about cleaning their tools or spending that much time cleaning their tools. But to me, I think it's worth it. I like my tools clean and I want them to last as long as possible. So that's it as far as cleaning screwdrivers and pliers. Now let's get in to see what type of, uh, or how well this chrome polish works on these uh, ratchets and wrenches. Alrighty guys, so moving into these products, this, these are like the products that I use once a month when I go through and I clean all the tools in my box. Yes, it does take a lot of time to do, but I think it's worth keeping my tools clean and all of that. So these are the products I use, the chrome polish, the stainless steel wipes, and the gun cleaning kit, which is basically like a lubricant and polish as well. But the one thing you want to remember, unlike the WD-40 where you can just simply spray it on the tools and quickly wipe down your wrenches, um, you don't necessarily have to go back and wipe it off. Uh, with this chrome polish and stuff, you want to apply a thin coat to all your tools and then go back and with a dry rag 
and wipe it off because it's going to leave a film on there. It's going to fill in the cracks and it's going to clean the tools up. And when you go back with the dry rag, it's going to pull all that off, but leave the tool looking extremely nice. So I'm just going to go through and give all these a light, thin coat of polish. Add more as you need it. It doesn't take a lot uh, unless you're, you know, cleaning your entire toolbox. Okay, so now that we got these all coated, I've already done this one, it's already coated. Uh, as you can tell, the wrench has a film on it, it's kind of fuzzy. And that's that polish, I'm just going to let them set for a few seconds. And then, you just simply go back with a dry rag, really clean them up. Sorry about that. So let's just take a quick look. So here's the chrome after, and this is during, so you can kind of see that film on there. Let's go ahead and wipe that off. And what's nice about this is it's not going to leave your tools all slippery or anything like that. So it's going to get them nice and clean. You're not going to have to worry about dropping tools when you grab them. So here they are. This handle cleaned up. So now, let's see if I can zoom in for you guys. So, as you can tell, it has a beautiful finish to it again. It looks brand new. Uh, any minor scratches in the tools, it will fill in. But, obviously, major scratches, it's, it's not going to do much for. But, they come out beautiful, whether you have them soaked in, you know, oil or dirt or uh, grease or anything. It will get that stuff off, and it will leave your tools looking beautiful again, just like the day you bought it. But, keep in mind, also... Uh, eventually the handles are going to start to wear and you're going to get you know cuts in the rubber and stuff like that so there's only so much you can do for uh, the comfort grip types handles and screwdrivers and stuff but it'll be better than you know dirty tools but once again here are the products that I use WD-40 for weekly cleaning and just 3-in-1 oil for uh, lubricating every once in a while Chrome polish, you can get any chrome polish. Stainless steel wipes for fridges and stoves and stuff like that. These things work absolutely great. Once again, when you wipe tools down with these, you do need to go back with a dry rag. Same thing if you're using CLP or polish from a gun cleaning kit or anything like that. You want to go back and clean that off. But all of these products work really well. Alrighty guys, so that's the process I use to clean my tools. I do, you know, project cleanings after every job I do. And then... Probably about once a month I like to go through my toolbox and just clean everything, uh, like my, all of my wrenches and everything, just to keep them protected. Especially if you live in a humid area, uh, your tools will begin to rust. So it's very important to keep them protected from the environment. Uh, and just to keep them clean from, you know, dirt, to keep them operating well, just like ratchets and rashing wrenches and stuff like that. Keep them clean, it'll keep them from gunking up and uh, 
you having issues with them. But if you use any other compounds or uh, chemicals to clean your tools, please leave it down in the comments for others. One thing I would not suggest, even though it works really well, is fuel. Uh, fuel really cleans tools well, but tools tend to absorb it. And you gotta be aware of some chemicals will actually eat away at the chrome on your tools and stuff like that. So it's very important to use the right chemicals. And I believe the tool or the chemicals that I've used work really well, and I've never had them uh, destroy any tools. So that's what I have for you today, and I really hope you guys enjoy it. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and as always, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Thank you guys.